Now, pollution levels in Singapore have hit a new record high as smoke from fires in Indonesia blanket the city-state. The country's pollution index reached 401 at midday on Friday. Anything above 300 is considered hazardous. Indonesia has deployed aircraft to fight the forest fires, but Singapore's Prime Minister warns the smog could last weeks, even months. Uh, living in Singapore is U.S. student Alexia Lochman. She's planning on staying inside all weekend and described to CNN just how bad the situation has become. Throughout the course of the day, the haze will kind of spike around noon. Um, that's when we've seen some of the highest levels. I'm no scientist, but um, they do rate air quality. And the numbers that we're seeing right now, it's upwards of 400. And anything below 50 is considered good. Um, so to be up in the 400s, that's um, it's categorized as unhealthy and also hazardous. Um, they're telling everybody to, you know, stay inside as much as possible, especially the, the very young or the old or those who have allergies, that kind of thing. Um, but most people, when they do go out at this point, with it as bad as it is, um, most people are wearing masks, surgical masks, to cover their mouth and noses when they walk outside. To make a strange U.S. comparison, it's kind of like a snow day right now. We're just trying to stock up on things that we think we might need for the weekend. We really don't want to have to be going outside at all. The stores throughout Singapore are, have, are all sold out of the face masks. I smell it even before I go outside. To be honest with you, when I wake up in the morning, one of the very first thoughts that hits me is, oh my gosh, I can smell the smoke inside again today. It's very strange. It's very, especially in a city that really is known for being so clean um, and having such high standards for things like public health and the environment. Um, so it's very strange to see something uh, that they can't control. I think it's very frustrating for everybody.